Hey guys, it's me Falco. Today's video, it's basically just going to be me giving you a guide on Shadow Walker, Weaver, Stalker of Time, because there's three variants. They're all the exact same. One's a hero, Mark Calendar class. The other two you can get in game from getting the time key from 2017. And yeah, I hope the guide's useful to you, so let's get into it. Right, so to actually get the class, you just join slash join hero mark, and you'll talk to this guy here, strike, and you'll go to the AC shop, buy the 2017 time lock key 2.0, it'll go to the calendar classes, time lock shops, click the 2017 class, and it should open a drop down menu for you. I have the original key, so I'd have to join curiosities to open mine, but you get the gist and idea of where to go. Right, so I'll give you a quick rundown of the skills as well. Um, this class is basically runs off dodge, chance and crit, and DOTs. So everything kind of works together in a really nice combo. And let's start off with the auto attack. This basically just gives buffs and debuffs for each time you use it. Increasing um, hit chance, lowering hit chance. Increasing dodge chance, lowering dodge chances. They stack up to 5 as it says here and last for 10 seconds. You don't need to worry about this too much. Now with number two, Exude and Devour. Um, it's basically attacks multiple enemies and creates a DOT. However, if you have your five skill active, it will give you a heal over time, which is nice. As your four actually damages you for about 400 around my level. And your second skill is gonna be Vendetta slash Umbral Stigma. It's a long range attack, deals, enemy, deals damage to one enemy and it basically increases the damage they take blah 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 and uh yeah uh number four silhouette shadow warp this as i said damages you for a damage over time it, it, it counts as a dot but it's basically just going to take a portion of your health increases your dodge chance by 300 percent for four seconds also focuses attacks onto you Kind of like a, um, I, f I forgot the word, but you know, like a roar in a game where you train all the enemies onto you to attack you as a single target rather than your friends. And as it says here, if you have Temporal Eclipse active, you also gain back 30 mana, which is good because this class really struggles with mana. Um, five Temporal Eclipse. This is where you're going to be getting your, uh, your big DOT nuke attacks coming in. And yeah, as it says here, uh, reducing three opponent's hit chances up by up to 30%. Increases your crit chance by 80%, which is amazing. And um, also applies Turbulent Rift, increasing your haste by 30%. So all of these are great together. Right, so we're in the museum and I'll just tell you about the enhancements really quick. So we'll go to Artifact Quest, Armor of All, or Enhancements. I want you to go full look with this build, definitely the best way you can do it. And mana vamp, I would say is necessary. It, you get a lot more damage off with mana vamp rather than waiting for your mana to recharge or using five and your four to get mana back. It just means you're getting more damage over time, more DPS, and overall mana vamp is probably the best option. If you don't have ore enhancements, obviously just go full look. And when you do unlock the blade of ore, just pick up mana vamp for your weapon. Right, so now I'm going to try and show you the soloing capabilities of the class. Probably one of the best soloing classes in the game. Sometimes it does struggle with high damage enemies, like enemies which give you really high damage output. And you may need some help with healing or someone like Arch Paladin just lowering their damage. But soloing most bosses in the game, you'll be perfectly okay and I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, the basic combo I'd go with is always start out with 3, 4, 2. And then to get your massive nukes off, you'd want to go with 3, 5, 4, 2, 3, 2, 3. And basically, you just want to make sure that your 4 is active when you can do with your 5, so you get your mana back. But also, when you've used your Temporal Eclipse, you want to be using your 2 and 3 as much as possible, as well as in the space where you're waiting for this to recharge you're basically just going to be getting the most DPS out that way. I'll show you the, um, the combo now. 
So we'll go with 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, 4, 2, 3, 2, 3. Sometimes you miss it, sometimes you don't. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, but um, yeah, it, as you can see, you get really nice DOTs, massive nukes. And overall, I think in a group of people, you can do really well. Um, I have hit DOTs up before, up to 100, 100k that is. And um, yeah, it's it's not really big of a deal. If you do miss something, you see there we got a 30k DOT roundabout. But um, as I said, you do heal your damage off when you use 5 and 2. And you also get your mana back when you use 5 and 4. Overall... Really good soloing class. I'd recommend it for that. I'd give it an A. So, yeah, here I am. I basically just come to Ice Storm Arena and I'll show you the farming capabilities of it. It's not the best farmer, not the worst. For farming bosses, it'd be great. Farming enemies like this, you definitely want to use something else, either Infinite Dark Caster, Legion Revenant, whatever farming class you actually do enjoy. Is probably a bit better than Shadow Stalker, Walker, Weaver of Time, whatever one you have. Um, as I said, it's not terrible. So, like, you, you can get really nice damage out with it and you can farm enemies pretty easily. Um, but you, you do have problems with, you know, your cooldowns. They're not the fastest. You, you're always waiting for them for the most part. And it, it's a bit awkward, really. It's not terrible, like I mentioned. But you'd really want to be getting something else just to get faster DPS and faster farming rates out. Overall, I think the class is somewhat okay in PvP. It struggles with things which obviously are better at PvP overall, such as Yami no Ronin, classes which have better dodge chances. Void High Lord, it has like no chance for the most part. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you some fights and I'll cut to them, speed them up for you. And yeah, I hope that it serves you well. So yeah, as you can see, overall, not the best in PvP. The dodge is just not there. PvP is basically built off of dodging. So if you haven't got the highest dodge chance, you're not winning. That's basically the end of it. Uh, it's okay against some classes. I think Thief of Hours, it does somewhat okay against. Um, Void High Lord, it's not the best, but it does do somewhat okay. It at least gets half the health down. But stuff like Dragon of Time, Yami no Ronin, uh, you've got no chance. But that's expected anyway. So, yeah, overall, I think I'd give the class rating probably about an A-ish. I think soloing, it really does shine. Farming, not the best. PvP, also not the best, but they're both somewhat average. They could be worse for sure. But um, yeah, the soloing wise, probably one of the better classes in the game, if not top three in my own opinion. Uh, just because of the massive nukes you can pull out with a massive group of people as well. It does really amazing. Um, the price tag of 6k ACs, that's up for you to decide. I did purchase this in 2017 and I really enjoyed it. I still do really enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite classes. I use it very frequently. Um, especially for, like I said, soloing. It's a really nice quick soloing class uh, for bosses which have moderate damage output. But um, yeah, like I said, it's up for you to decide, really. If you think it's worth it, go for it. There is going to be a class um, tamper, kind of, this Friday like messing stuff about with uh, the calendar classes either changing dps output cooldowns whatever you want to talk about um no idea if shadow stalker of time will be included it may get buffed it may get nerfed 
it may just stay the exact same. I presume it will stay the exact same after the buffs and nerfs it has been through last year. But um, yeah, I think that will probably be it from me today, guys. If you do like the content, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Comment if I've missed anything out. Um, my Twitter is also in the description. Please go follow that. I post, when I've posted a new video, I post stuff I'm doing in game if you want to come find me as well. Also want to shout out someone who did find me in game yesterday out of random. I was in the Ravenloss map and it was Hero123. Cool dude. Nice meeting you. And uh, yeah, now be it. I hope that you have a really good day. I hope this class guide was useful to you and I'll see you next time.